Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the oing.startup file on a web API. So just so you guys have a, you know, so you guys know you're in the right video, it's the, the startup file here. So this is uh, the very first thing your application hits when it starts up. So for example, on this example here, I usually use this to, to set up my Hangfire uh, project. All right, let's get started. Let's go ahead and um, create a new project. Um, I'm just going to pick uh, ASP.NET Framework. And then make sure it's C-sharp. Test. Owen. Create. Okay. All right, we can get a, let's, let's get a uh, web API. It's fine. It doesn't really matter what kind of project it is. Uh, the, the steps should be all the same. Give it a second. All right, so now that started, as you can see here, we go to the app start. We don't see that um, we don't see that folder here, right? So let's go ahead. I mean, we don't see that start.cs class here, right? So let's go ahead and right click here, add, and create class. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, not create class. Add new item, and then just type on the search bar. And as you can see on the search bar, so just, just so you're clear, this is um, Visual Studio 2019. On the search bar, once you get a result, it says, well, owing start a class. Just go ahead and double click on it, and it's going to get started, right? So let's say if we just done this, right, and we do a console, console dot write. Let's see if it hits it, right? Right line and it's put the brackets back. Let's run it. Let's give it a second here to run. So as you can see, as you guys can see here, it's it's starting up and it does not hit that. So if you guys have if you guys have an issue where it doesn't hit this specific um class, this is what you do, right? You close it, you go to uh prefer uh references. You uh, right click on the references and manage NuGet package. And what you're going to look for is Microsoft Owen. So that's what you're going to be searching for Microsoft Owen. Go ahead and click on it. Oh, actually, hold on. It's not Microsoft Owen. Uh... Oh, yeah. Microsoft. Hold on. Hold on. Microsoft. Um... It's Microsoft. Oh, I'm sorry. It's browse. You make sure you in browse Microsoft Owen host system web. Go ahead and click install. All right. Go ahead and accept it. And right. make sure it's all done. Uh, you're going to see the reference here. So the reference, it's now here. Minimize it and close the NuGet package. Let's go ahead and run it this time. All right, there you go. So this is this is, this is a quick tutorial. Basically, all I'm showing is how to set up the Owen startup file. Uh, once again, um, let's go over the steps real quick, um, just to make sure you guys know what's going on. Um, all, all I did is let's go ahead and stop here. All I did is create a solution, a web API or MVC, whatever you want to you, you want to create. Right click the app dot start folder. Um, click add. New item on the search bar on, on on Visual Studio 2019. Just type Owen. It's gonna be. It's gonna say Owen cl class startup. Double click on it. Once you double click on it, it's gonna create this class. Once this class is created, make sure you gotta go to references. Right click on references. If you already have it from another project, you can just click add reference. But on this case, I just did manage Nugget package. And in here, I just I just Go for Microsoft, Microsoft Owen, and then make sure you click the Microsoft .owen .host .system web. Go ahead and install it and start the program. You can put a breakpoint on your startup class here. You see it hits the breakpoint before it loads uh, the web API on this case. So that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone.